It's coming up this Saturday, and we have Oscar Venegas, who is a chef with River City Brewing, and Steve Cuneo with River City Brewing, a past winner, actually, coming in to preview that festival for us. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Glad to be here. So this yeah. is your first time at the festival? Yes, yeah, this is my first time here. He's so. a previous winner. Yeah. No crush. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is, now I'm assuming you've left out your secret ingredients. We don't want to give it all away. Yes. Yes, thank you. Good. Just a little secret ingredient I okay. usually add at the very end. Very good, okay. Um, so these are your basic ingredients. What do you call this one? So this was actually my sweet kidney bean chili. It's the first time entering in this contest and it's the first time actually trying to see how it stacks up against other competitors. Okay, so what are your main ingredients here? Okay, so the main ingredient would be my ground chuck, mm -hmm. which is usually what I start off with first. What percentage of fat do you use? This is always uh, 80, 20. You do the 80-20 for the flavor, do, right? Yes. Okay. I do 80-20 and then usually I hit it off with the garlic, onions, and then I got on this side all my spices. Okay. I got my paprika, brown sugar, dark chili powder, cumin, uh, cayenne pepper, and once I add all those, those are usually what gives it the most taste. Sure. Like usually the dark chili powder is what I use for spice. Okay. And then I usually use for like the cayenne pepper to give you that little tickle in the back of your throat. Give it the kick. Okay, yeah. you start mixing up and let me start picking Steve's brain over here. So when you talk about a chili festival, mm -hmm. major bragging rights, especially <clears> in this Yes. Part. And um, what what is the competition like out there from behind the scenes? Because I know if you go there and you're tasting it, it's just like it's a gut breaker because you eat a lot all day. <laughs> What's it like being a competitor there? Oh, well, it's a lot, first off, it's a lot of fun uh, to be down in the community. Uh, again, since we were downtown for so long before yeah. we got transported out to the uh, suburbs, you know, it was like being in our backyard. So uh, it's we're happy to be back again. Uh, we missed it last year because we were closed down at that uh, time of the year. But now that we're back open again, uh, we're happy to be downtown and hoping to see all our all our competitors out there having a good time what um what is it like watching people taste the chili because they don't really hold back at a chili festival they'll tell you real quickly what they liked and they didn't like yeah you usually have a yes or a no on it pretty quick so uh it's a lot of fun sometimes you see some facial expressions that are kind of uh, is that a good one or is that a bad one but <laughs> you know Hard it's, it's all good <laughs> that's good so then you mix in the beer with it what what types of beer do you find um pair well with chili well uh so this year we're actually going to be uh, I, we have our woodenhead uh, amber ale here which is kind of a malty uh uh, deep roast to it. Uh, it's got a, a little woodiness to it, so it'll pair well with the, the chili. But then we're also going to have our uh, our wheat beer, our Hefeweizen, okay. which, uh, depending on how the weather is, is going to probably be a, a big hit if it's warm because it's a very refreshing crisp. And you know, weather really does play into it and mm -hmm. how you perceive it to be. What's the weirdest ingredient you've heard somebody putting into a chili? Let's see, the weirdest ingredient I've ever heard that somebody. Worked, you know, oh, like that somebody, worked. Yeah, like something they put in, you're like, really? But it tasted good. Well, usually. Uh, the weirdest thing I've so far heard was they use like a habanero chili puree as their base uh, instead of a tomato, a traditional tomato sauce. It was really spicy, but it actually did work. I was actually yeah. surprised on that one. I was like, you guys didn't put no tomato in there? They're like, nope, just straight up habanero. That's not your secret ingredient. Though. Oh, no, no. You're not no, gonna not I'm not going to tell you guys, but yeah. Uh, no, I know. How about you? What's, what's uh, your well, actually, the year we won, we topped it with uh, pineapple. Really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Well, you know what, though? I bet that acidic kind of sweet taste it was, would actually it, be kind of good. Yeah, it came out really good. All right, well, <laughs> I'm going to guess that that's not their secret ingredient either this time around. But thank you so much. Sure. We appreciate it. Let's let everybody remind, remind them that the 6th Annual Sacramento Beer and Chili Festival is coming up Saturday, April 8th. It goes from 1 until 5 at Roosevelt Park in downtown. They're expecting about 1,000 people out there. It's $35 a ticket. And everybody who goes out gets to eat as much chili as either they want or they can. And there is that mark where it becomes one or the other very quickly. And so you guys do these little testers, and uh, how much meat do you need to bring to feed all these people? So apparently Cisco's uh, donating about 10 pounds. Okay. 10 pounds of uh, ground beef. And then whatever else. And you get your little tester, and then you yeah. move on. Well, good luck to you. Well, thank whatever you. Whatever the secret ingredient is. <laughs> Hopefully the secret ingredient is sunshine. <laughs> <laughs>